And this be a model of the Golden Dragon. It was sailed by Toyland's most fearsome pirate of all. Tina, the Terrible. Wow! I bet Tina the Terrible didn't make her crew do all this scrubbing. We shouldn't be spring cleaning. We should be out there looking for treasure. Treasure? Ah! Oops. Ah, oh, scurvy. It be broken. Maybe Fuse can fix it. Ah, good thinking, Noddy. First mate stripes, off ye go to brick build and get it fixed. But, Captain, not another chore. <gasps> Are ye disobeying an order? No, Captain. No, not at all. Aye, aye, Captain. And while you're at it, can you order some new cannon plugs from Fuse? Aye, aye. We'll see you later too, Captain. I'm helping Biggie spring clean the toadstool. <sighs> Finished. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy! All our treasure! It's gone! Stripes wasn't there to guard it, and someone must have stolen it! Don't worry, Captain. I'll help you find it. I need to investigate. Who's taken the pirate's treasure? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Where? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the stolen treasure. How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? I'm going to start by looking for clues where the treasure was stolen. Pirate Bay! <laughs> Good thinking. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, Big Ears. Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> <gasps> this be where the treasure was, lad. Nothing is broken, which means whoever took your treasure knew exactly how to open your hidey hole. Only a pirate would know how to do that. <gasps> do you think it could be another pirate? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> ah, stripes, there you are. We've got a problem. Our treasure was stolen while you were at Fuse's workshop. We think another pirate might have taken it. Another pirate, eh? I'll see if they're hiding in the rocks. <laughs> rocks! Ah, rocks! Hmm. Nothing here. <laughs> what is it, Bumpy? <gasps> Captain! Huh? Look! <gasps> it's another pirate ship! Maybe that's who stole your treasure. Arr, let's show them what we're made of, me hearties! Let's go in search of our treasure! Arr, I thought so. Captain, that isn't a ship. It's just the shadow of one. Huh? Mean the ship isn't really there? Well, it must be somewhere, or there wouldn't be a shadow. Look! The shadow's moving! It's heading for Daredale! All hands on deck, me hearties! Every heads up! Yay! Oh, it's oh, nice oh, to be oh, right. <laughs> Fire at will, me hearties! <laughs> Full speed ahead! That shadow looked familiar. I think I've seen it before. But when? <laughs> Of course. A dragon's head. That's it. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Ah, where are they, the thieving pirates? Captain! Look. 
That's the shadow of the ship we're looking for. And that's the model of the golden dragon. They're the same. Giggling galleons! You mean it was Tina the Terrible who stole our treasure? I think so. But we need to find her to be sure. Ha-ha! Full speed ahead, me hearties! We'll soon find our treasure. Ha-ha! Treasure! Treasure! No, wait! There's no sign of the golden dragon. I wonder why. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Here's a map of Daredale. Where could a big ship hide? Not at the racetrack. Or in Deltoid's house. But maybe inside the Daredale Caves. Ah, well done, Noddy, me lad. <laughs> <laughs> Set sail for Daredale Caves. Lamps and torches on. Now let's all look for the Golden Dragon. Ah, me and Scurvy will go this way. The rest of you go that way. Ah, good thinking, first mate Stripes. Let's go. Still no sign of the Golden Dragon. Maybe it isn't here after all. <laughs> A shadow! Look! It's the Golden Dragon! Quick! The shadow's moving! After it! <laughs> it's gone! But I don't understand. How can a giant ship appear and then disappear? Noddy! Ah, striped scurvy. We just saw the shadow. Quickly, back in the ship, me hearties. We're getting closer to our treasure. Ah treasure! Ah! <laughs> well, at least Stripe seems a bit more cheery. Oh, Revs, there you are. Huh? <gasps> What's that? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Bumpy, it's you. It's your shadow. It's being made by Rev's headlights. See? <laughs> Funny Bumpy. Come on, we've got an investigation to solve. <gasps> no, wait. That's it. A small thing can sometimes make a big shadow. Maybe the shadow of the Golden Dragon wasn't made by the real Golden Dragon at all. Maybe it was made by the model Golden Dragon. One of the wings on the shadow is broken. Just like the wing on the model. Which means someone is using the model ship to make everyone think it's the real one. But who and why? We know First Mate Stripes took the model ship to Fuse. Maybe Fuse gave it to someone else. Come on, you two. Let's go and find out. But Noddy, I do not understand. What ship? The ship that First Mate Stripes gave you to fix. Did you give it to someone? Oh, dear. Sorry, Noddy. I do not remember First Mate Stripes giving me anything to fix. Only Scurvy came to ask for these new cannon plugs. But you must do. She took the model ship and went off with Scurvy to give it to you. While she was away, the treasure went missing. Oh, unless... Thanks. You've been a big help. Have I? Biggie, come with me. Hi, pirates. Ah, Noddy. No joy, I'm afraid. That golden dragon's impossible to catch. That's because it isn't there, Captain. Well, of course it is. We saw its shadow. No, we saw the shadow of your model ship. But the model's at Fuse's workshop. Ain't it, first mate? Sorry, Captain. Noddy's right. We used the model of the Golden Dragon to try and make you think there was a real ship there. But why? <laughs> because it was them who took the treasure. Arr, Noddy's right. It were. Ha <laughs> The treasure! Sorry, Captain. We were fed up doing all that scrubbing. 
I know it's real pirate scrub decks too, but we wanted to look for treasure instead. Well, I suppose we did have fun, eh? What? Payment accepted. Thank you. Come again soon. Uh... Ah, let's find a new treasure, me hearties. <laughs> 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 well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. Thanks. When I saw Bumpy's shadow on the wall, I worked out it wasn't the real golden dragon. Just the tiny model one. First Mate Stripes and Scurvy stole the treasure. They were fed up scrubbing the pirate galleon and wanted to look for treasure. The case of the stolen treasure is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! for the fairy picnic this afternoon. Thank you, Noddy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We've written a song. I'm Who. I'm Bling. We're, We're cool. cool. So, so cool. cool. They rule. They rule. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. But we're a teensy weensy big bit busy. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, what a mess. We better tidy up. There's no need to help us tidy. You've all done more than enough to help. Time to go home and I'll see you at the picnic later. Don't be late. Thanks, Your Majesty. <laughs> Fairies, time to clean up this mess. Yes, Your Majesty. Right away. Oh, fizzling fairy dust. I forgot that we need a dance floor. Can you move a few of these trees to make room for it? At once, Your Majesty. <laughs> <sighs> oh. There's Fable Forest Station. We're almost there. Yeah. Oh, the train's changed direction. Noddy, what's happening? Oh, dear. Hmm. Someone's moved the tracks. I need to investigate why the train track's been moved. Time to open a new case. Investigate. Let's call this the case of the moving train tracks. What are you going to do first, Noddy? Someone was trying to stop us from getting to Fable Forest. But why would someone do that? <gasps> Maybe they didn't want us to get to the Queen's picnic. <laughs> Clever thinking, Bumpy. The Nauticorns were cross we didn't listen to their song. Maybe they moved the tracks. Let's ask them. And we'll all go back to Toy Green and wait until we get news from you. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> They rule! They rule! Nauticons in the stables! Yeah. yeah! That was great! Yay! Thanks. It's going to sound so amazing at the picnic. Yeah! There isn't going to be a picnic. What? Not yet, anyway. Someone's moved the train tracks, and I'm trying to find out why. Move the train tracks? Why would anyone want to do that? So it wasn't you, then? Us? No! So if you didn't move the tracks, who did? Come on, Bumpy. We need to inspect the train tracks. <laughs> Bye, Nauticorns. Bye-bye. 
must be a clue here somewhere. The train tracks are really big and heavy. How could someone lift these? Whoever moved them must be really strong. Smartysaurus and Deltoid are the strongest toys in Toyland. It wasn't Smartysaurus because she was on the train with us. But where was Deltoid? He wasn't on the train. Maybe he moved the tracks. Let's go to Daredale. Oh, where are you? Ha, ha, ha! Uh. Uh. Hi, Deltoid. Ah, Noddy. Perfect timing. I'm sure you'll be able to help me. Where is it? Where's what? Have you lost something? My helmet. I can't find it anywhere. But, Deltoid, your helmet is... Yes, so important if I want to ride my tri-bike. I know. My helmet! <laughs> Thank you, friend. Now I can go to the fairy picnic. But the picnic's delayed. Someone moved the train tracks into Fable Forest. Why would someone do such a thing? That's what I'm trying to find out. What are you going to do? Who knows about train tracks? The builders, yes! They look after all the building things, including the train tracks. Hmm. Let's go to Brickabuild. Thanks, Deltoid. You are welcome, Noddy. Uh, huh? uh, where's my tri-bike key? Left uh, 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 oh. down a bit. I haven't touched the train track. And who did? Not a clue, I'm afraid, mate. Oh, thank you. This investigation is so hard. Big Ears always says a good investigator thinks and thinks again. Hmm. I know I'm looking for someone really strong. Or something. Hmm. Excuse me. Huh? Could someone have used your bulldozer? No one else touches our bulldozer. We've been using it all day. Except when we stop for a little break. Huh? You call that little? We were thinking about our next building. When did you have a break? Oh, they've had lots of breaks today. Lots of thinking. <sighs> I see. So maybe someone borrowed the bulldozer during one of your breaks. Hmm. Maybe. Oh! Look! <gasps> a clue! Oh. It's a hair tie! What's that doing there, laddie? I didn't think this belonged to you. <laughs> so whose is it? No. No. There! The hair tie belongs to the fairies. What was a fairy doing in the bulldozer? Thanks, builders. Bye. Bye, Bye Noddy. <laughs> Noddy, what is happening? Why have the train tracks moved? No one can come to the picnic. I'm investigating, Your Majesty. I think I'm getting close to the answer. Look, Cleo. I found your hair tie in the bulldozer. Thanks, Noddy. Coco and I borrowed it to move the trees quicker. My hair tie must have fallen off. Without asking the builders. Cleo. I'm sorry. Did you move the tracks too? <sighs> no. Why would I do that? Queen Sparklewings didn't ask us to do that. I moved the track before I took the bulldozer back. Sparkling stars. Coco, why? Because every time there's a party or a picnic or anything in Fable Forest, we always have to clean the mess up all on our own. <laughs> and Her Majesty won't let guests help us. Did you decide to move the track to stop us from getting to the picnic? <laughs> yes. So you didn't have to clear everything up after us? I should have just talked to you about it. I'm a very sorry fairy. Oh, Coco. Maybe I do expect too much from you and Cleo. It won't happen again. Hmm. If 
we get the tracks moved back, we're still in time to have the fairy picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Your fairy picnic is delightful, Your Majesty. Thank you, but... Where are the naughty corns? Oh. Huh? Huh? Lovely! Ooh. Oh! Mirror, mirror on the wall We know what the mirror's for Who's the coolest of them all? Who do we like more and more? We are the best and super cool Naughty corns just rock your soul Oh, who? I'm um, bling We're cool, so cool. cool They rule, they rule Naughty corns in the stables, yeah! yeah. Hooray! 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 <laughs> and now? Let's everybody clean up together. Hooray! <laughs> Our turn to tidy up. Go! <laughs> Here you are, Smartysaurus. Thanks, Noddy. When everyone helps, it's much faster. Yes, and it's thanks to you, Noddy. Well done. You solved the investigation. Thanks. Whoever moved the track needed to be strong. I worked out that even a small fairy can use a big bulldozer. The fairies didn't think it was fair that they were always doing the tidying up. <laughs> and now that everyone's helping to tidy up, the fairies are much happier. <laughs> the case of the moving train track is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues, 